are so glad that you made it to the PNC Words at Play Vocabulary Initiative Block Party. Yes. And so our block party is just a celebration of something we've been doing now for several months. We have play parties, um, which is an hour of fun around vocabulary building with your children. And we have many families that participate every week. We actually have some families here with us today that I'm going to introduce. And they're going to get a chance to tell you a little bit about words at play, the play parties, our family fun trips, and what it means to them, okay? The best part um, of words at play for me would be just spending time with my sons on Saturday. That's been a good part. And the books, I love to read the books. So at school, we, we always read the books. We always go over vocabulary words. And it's always good because, like, in the classroom, he always knows what's, gonna, what's about to happen. So I say, Jayton, tell everybody what we're about to do. And then, yeah, it's always fun that way. And then he likes to be the star anyway, so I try to let him. Words at Play is incredibly important, actually, to the Free Library of Philadelphia because it's so important for our children all to be able to start school ready to learn and ready to read. So Words at Play Vocabulary Initiative, um, consists of five partners with the Free Library of Philadelphia being the lead partner. We also have the Kimmel Center, the Franklin Institute, the Philadelphia Museum of Art, and the Philadelphia Zoo. Each partner brings their certain level of expertise with you know, science, music, art, um, and then of course animals with the zoo. The collaboration with each partner basically is the library working with each one to create uh, materials, programs for our families um, that attend the Words at Play programs. It's a way to learn through play, through fun. Because a lot of times, the little kids, they don't really want to sit still and, and just to sit here you talk. They don't want to do that. They want to be able to play with the words, and this is, this, this is what they do. They learn words through play. The, the reason it's really significant is that children who are from low-income uh, families um, versus children who come from better income families. There's a 30 million word deficit between those two children. The role of Words at Play is to close that gap so that these children as they grow up are real partners in life. My favorite thing about Words at Play would be the new vocabularies that they teach my kids, different ways to use the words um, in different places where they can find these new vocabulary words. His reading level is awesome now. Like ever since we've been coming here, he reads above his level now. The most important thing that we can do in this program is to engage families around the success of their child. and so. We do wonderful work with children after school and on the weekends. The greatest thing we can do, the most sustainable thing that we can do, is ensure that the parent is as engaged in the child's learning process as the teachers or the librarians around them. I think what she's gained by the program is simply coming to the library every week and making that a habit because once the program is over, she still looks forward to going to the library every week. And after, you know, we read, she always tries to apply it to something in the house or something that she's done or something that she's going to do. One of the most important aspects, or I should say most successful, are our neighborhood ambassadors. It starts in the community. It starts with the neighborhood ambassadors and having them spread the word. Um, and then we go into the businesses where we have our bookshops at some local barbershops. Again, all about community, meeting people where they are and starting that relationship and building that trust with them. So that's how our community outreach and engagement really starts with the, with the neighborhood ambassadors. So my name is Jasmine Schoolfield and I'm also known as Jazz the Barber. Uh, my shop is unisex. It's a unisex salon. It's called Creative Image Unisex Hair Salon. The first book nook in the barbershop is at my shop as well, and um, it's uh, it's a great thing. It's it's actually a good thing for the kids, and it it helps them interact with their parents. And the the kids they automatically light up when they see the book nook. So they see the books. Oh, they see Pete the Cat and Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and all the books and stuff. Not only they brought books, they actually brought toys for the kids. It keeps them occupied and it actually keeps them engaged, you know, while they're waiting and it, it, it definitely broadens their creativity. 
do need to acknowledge our lead partner on this, and that's PNC Bank. They, you know, without the support, the generous support that they've provided, kicking this initiative off and letting us test what works and doesn't work, and we, you know, this really is one of these types of programs that we're we're really playing with ideas and and movement and taking community in and really trying to understand what works best, what doesn't work so well. I want to make sure that we uh, share with you how important it is that uh, a community have institutions like the Free Public Library that partners like PNC can work with to bring initiatives to life in, in a community uh, in North Philadelphia. That's really how it all comes together. Great organizations with funding to bring great programs to neighborhoods that can really use it. Thank you.